continue showing it to the new generation. Because I would love to be doing this. An ancient Persian sport that elevates the strength of the body and mind through philosophy, moral virtues, and spiritual illumination. I love Zuhane. I love Zuhane. The history of Zurkhane goes back to over 3,000 years, and it started back with the Persian Empire, where they trained their army to be strong psychologically, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We have been practicing Zurkhane for close to four years here in, in the United States. Uh, it is gaining ground uh, both in southeast and southwest of United States. Uh, we have some plan of taking this sport and using it in the colleges, universities, and some high school. Maybe used as body conditioning for the baseball, football players to increase their agility, their strength, and their stamina, and hand-eye coordination. In other forms of wrestling or martial arts, Participants compete in matches that last on average for up to 30 minutes, with intervals to stop and break. In Zirkani, the tournament lasts for one hour. Without stopping, the athletes change their positions by the drumbeat from the Morshed leader, with the additional challenge of wielding and twirling several different instruments weighing up to 88 pounds. First facet of Zirkani is meal. Meal is, uh, meal is used to increase arm, leg, uh, stamina, uh, shoulder, rotating cuff. They come in different sizes. They, they come in heavy, medium, and the light one. The light one is for throwing and juggling. This is called kabba there. And they use that and they practice that to um, be able to carry a bigger bow. The last is the shield called Sang. In ancient times, they were made of stone. These are made of wood, weighing 80 pounds each. This basically works the shoulders, uh, wrist, arm, and it will enable the athlete to be able to carry heavier shield. That's what it was used for. Um, before I started Zurkhan, I was actually a little bit overweight, and um, Due to this change, I've actually become in the best shape of my life, and I can say that. Um, he has been the Qahraman, which means the champion, for around 12 years. He's been doing this sport for 12 years, and he has held that title of one of the champions. And he's one of, he considers himself one of the small people, or small, humble, humble of the sport. The pants um, itself is just, uh, it's a little bit heavier than traditional pants that most people would typically wear. It makes it a little bit harder to um, work out. Now, um, back in the day, soldiers would wear pants a little bit similar to this, of course, with a little bit of armor. And for the wrestling aspect, the belt and the bottom of the pants gives a place for the wrestler to put his hands and to flip or toss said opponent. Once a training method of the ancient mighty Persian army has been embraced by over 40 countries around the world, Europe, Asia, Africa, Oceania, and America. I think Zerhani is great. I think it's interesting and, and I think it's something new for this area and, and I hope people uh, come out and participate. It, the advantage, just like any other sports, it, it will uh, introduce the sports to a greater uh, venue, such as Atlanta it has a good area and also it generates traffic, generates revenue for the city and for the businesses that are on and also would be good for the airport. It has a domino effect. Zurkhane um, makes me feel like a more well-rounded person, not so much in an athletic and more in-shape aspect, but more of a spiritual outlook on top of that. Zurkhane athletes develop through their training principal character traits like fairness, sacrifice, piety, 
modesty, politeness, and happiness. A true champion derives his power from these behavioral commitments, not just in Zirkani, but in every aspect of his life.